Where we have so much reports of infiltrations, we planted uh, cameras and then we have them, we have, we have these cupboards viewed directly from here. And then we have, we're currently working on the process of uh, security to see that once we have an infiltration through the borders, because we are seeing them here in real time online, we're able to make phone calls to the next checkpoint to actually make further assessment of whoever that, that is coming to the, into the state. This is Jingri border linking. Uh, from this border, we have people coming from Kano and Kaduna coming directly through this border. As you can see from the camera feed, cars are piled up. These cars have been there for the past three days. None have come over. I've, got, I've, I've come into town. So this is a live feed, real time online. As it is happening, we are viewing, we are seeing what is happening. We also have similar things in other borders. We have in Riom. We have in Riyam, that's people coming from Abuja, Nasara, Benue. We also have in Manchok. Manchok people divert. Knowing that there are security agencies, they try to divert to a following other routes. We trap them at Manchok. And they also have uh, in Bauchi Road, which is people coming from, uh, which is for people coming from Bauchi State. So this is live feed. You can check the timestamp, tells you exactly it's 12, 11, you can check your time, you realize that it's still the same time. And then you can see no activity happening at the border now. The camera has night vision, meaning it can actually capture feed, it can actually send feeds at night. Most times when there are no activities, the camera sleep, go into sleep mode. So most times when you're unable to connect to camera, we know there are no, no activity taking place at the border for a, for a certain period of time. And then the camera go, on, on a sleep mode. The purpose is to conserve power and also to conserve, conserve bandwidth. The activities of the security agency is being watched. As you can see, this is their post. And then whatever happens at the border, we have a glimpse of what exactly they are doing. What kind of car they allow in and what kind of car they stop from coming in. Yesterday we saw some, a pileup of trucks at one of our borders. We raised the concern that they were going to be cleared in the evening. And then we found out in the morning they were still there. So somehow, uh, we have we have eyes on all the borders. That way, security men are being checked because whatever shady deals that happen on the border, they know somebody is watching them. So it's more like giving an eye, a multiple eye to borders. So this is so superb. We've been the first. It, it gives it gives us an edge over making sure we do not record a single case in Plateau State. So far, so good. We're enjoying that privilege, and we hope to continue enjoying the privilege of no case at all in Plateau State.